I've created a map using Google My Maps that allows us to um, see specific things that are in our count area in different locations to bird. And so I've sent this email to you giving you viewing rights to the map and you'll just click open. If you are not using a Google email, um, let me know and I can send you um, this map to a different email using Google. Um, now you'll see on this, it includes some different spots to bird, etc. It has um, some info here for you. And then um, we have four different kind of sections within our count area, and they're highlighted here in yellow. It's hard to draw these different shapes, so you'll see that there's some gaps in between. That's just an artifact of me not being able to do this very well. So they basically, our areas follow the roads um, and the different landmarks that are there. So if there's a gap, um, know that like in this little area here, that is part of our area. Now, um, you'll notice on the side there are three different colors, so red, blue, and green for our um, different teams of how we're going to be split up. And um, if you click on the different locations, so for example, right here is St. John's Cemetery, and it has some um, information that was sent to us from um, Jennifer Raisinga about the um, female western tanager that she has found um, and like where to look for it. And different spots have just some different information for you of where to look. Um, different like hiking spots. So here's Water Dog Lake. This part isn't much of a hike um, unless you want to go farther. But you park over on this um, part of the street over here. So it gives you kind of info on the left hand side um, of where to kind of look around and what you might potentially find at these different locations. Now you can use this while driving on the maps, the Google Maps app on your phone. And in order to do that, you need to have obviously Google Maps added to your phone. And I'm going to show you how to use it on your phone and how to have it give you driving directions. All right, to use this map on your phone, you're going to go to Google Maps. And when you're in Google Maps, you first want to make sure that you're signed in to your Google account through Google Maps using the same email or the same Google account that I sent the map to. So you're going to go up to the top of the screen, kind of in that search bar on the right hand side. That's where I have the icon of me because I'm signed in. Right here is where you would sign into your Google account if you are not currently signed in. And so I've signed into my school account. I created this map in my personal account, but I shared it with viewing rights to my school account. So you can kind of see it's going to look the same for you. So I'm going to make sure I'm signed in first. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to the bottom of my screen where it says saved. When I click on saved, I have like my favorites, places I want to go, etc. But down here it says um, maps on the right hand side. So this is where you're going to find the maps. And um, you probably are just going to have one unless you've used Google My Maps before. But um, I have used this. This is my school account. I've created um, maps for other teachers. So the first thing we want though is to go up to 2020 CBC Crystal Springs. So that was the map that was shared with you. Now, um, down here at the bottom, it has a place for the map legend, which is kind of that same um, info that was shared with you up at the beginning. I don't want to press close. Close gets rid of this map. So I'm going to click on this arrow right here. And this is going to bring me back to the map. I can zoom in. I can choose different places. Let's say I want to go to the cemetery. I'm going to click on it. And I want to make sure I get this white circle around it. Sometimes when I um, try and click on things, I don't get the white circle. Um, it, sometimes I just get something that looks like, oops, well, let's go back, explore, oh, I'm back home, okay. Sometimes when I click on it, I might get a dropped pin if I click on the wrong place, or what's happened to me before is it will just say like area 15C or something like that. So you want to make sure that you get the circle around it when you are going to a location. Then down at the bottom, you'll see the GPS coordinates of it, 
Um, it's 19 minute drive from where I am right now at home. If I drag this card up, it will give me the information. So here's the information that was sent um, in the email from Jennifer, and it has where to look for the um, Western Tanager. I'm gonna click on the down arrow up at the top to go back, but you can see that I can click on directions. So when I click on directions, it will take me from my current location, and again, currently I'm at home, but it could take you from your current location at another stop that you are looking at in your account, and then just press start and you will um, get driving directions. Now, um, when you wanna go to a, another location, let's say Laurelwood Park, um, here, notice it didn't make the white circle, and down at the bottom here it just says 15C. It's just because I highlighted the section of the count circle. I, I like I clicked on the um, yellow area marker. So I want to make sure that I click on it. And sometimes it just it doesn't work. And so if I zoom in a little bit farther, that will make it a little easier to get that circle. And then again, I can lift up to read the description pull that um, back down and click on directions. And so this will allow you to go from place to place. And um, when you are done with the CBC, this doesn't go away even if I go out of the app and come back in. You probably aren't gonna want this on your map at all times. So to make it go away, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go back down to saved up at the, at the bottom of the screen. You're gonna go back to maps. You're going to click back on the CBC. You're going to click on View Map Legend. And then that's when you want to click Close. So I'm going to click Close. And when I click Close and I go back to Explore, I'm at home. Let's go back to um, our count area. And you can see now in our count area, the um, overlay from our map is gone. If you ever want it again, I just go back to Saved maps and you'll have access to it there.